guys, welcome back to Power In. I'm Carolyn Porter Thomas. Thank you so much for joining me. So every week, probably two to three times a week, I get the question, how do I study for anatomy and physiology? Because it's so much information and it's such a challenging class. So I wanted to make a video for you guys because I think it's really an area that deserves a lot of attention. So what you need to know, and don't take this the wrong way, but the odds are against you. Basically, what I've witnessed is that most of the classes in anatomy physiology start off with like 60 to 80 students, and then literally there could be like 20 students left at the very end. So it is hard to say that, but you know, you're beginning a class, you're beginning a journey where most people don't finish. So you need to kind of go in there with a plan. Um, let me tell you a little bit about my story and then I will tell you about the plan I have for you so that you can ace anatomy physiology. So just so you guys know, I was never somebody that considered myself to be really intelligent. I um, never really, you know, excelled in studies. I, you know, in the eighth grade I was tested for learning disabilities my the um, principal of the school actually told my father that he thought I was learning disabled and um, they actually held me back an entire year so I had to repeat the eighth grade um, another thing is um, in high school I always pretty much had to go to summer school because I didn't pass one or two classes um, and I did end up graduating you know with all the grade replacements and stuff like that with a, a, almost a B average, so, you know, again, I didn't really excel there. I never took any AP classes or anything like that. That was just, you know, way beyond what I thought I was capable of. Um, another thing was, when I graduated from high school, I took a five-year break with, without opening a single book. So, I literally just worked really hard. I traveled around the world. I, you know, enjoyed myself. Um, but then, you know, I decided that I didn't want to do this forever, so I wanted to go back to school. The first, you know, classes that I took back in school were such a struggle. I just didn't know what I was doing. It was just so difficult. And then something happened. I think that this must have really um, been designed to make sure that I succeeded in the future. But basically, I wanted to sign up for anatomy physiology. But all the classes were full. So I went to my counselor and I asked him, you know, I was just kind of whining. I was like, oh, I can't sign up for that. There's no other class really that I can take that will help me, you know, this semester. So he looked, I should have known, but he looked for one second and was like, I found anatomy and physiology. Um, it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday from blah, 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 blah. Do you want me to sign you up? So of course I was like, yeah, I was so excited. And um, so about a week before class starts, I was looking at my um, syllabus and, you know, arranging my schedule and just, you know, kind of organizing my life and my heart like literally skipped a beat. He forgot to mention that he signed me up for anatomy physiology too. So here I was, you know, with very low confidence, you know, I... I never excelled in anything academically, ever. So I'm going to take the hardest class, like this is the weeding out class, and I'm going to start at level two before one. I just didn't even know what to do. I knew if I went to the council, he would take me out of the class in a second, because obviously I didn't think I could do it. And, um, you know, that would have been that. And so I would have wasted an entire semester, possibly even an entire year, because it was a small college, so they didn't have the class all the time. So... I decided to take on one of the biggest challenges of my life. And I started Anatomy Physiology 2 before 1. And guys, it wasn't pretty. You know, I had no idea what was going on. The first class was on the cardiovascular system. To this day, you know, I mean, not to this day, but it just took me so long, even throughout nursing school, to understand the cardiovascular system because I had no idea what was going on. A lot of, there was so much terminology. I was at the point where like only one out of every 10 words had a definition behind it because they had all learned those definitions in anatomy physiology one. So I was just like, you know what? I decided that I was going to basically drop the class 
um, if I failed the first test. Unfortunately, though, the first test came after the drop date. And so I was like, okay, well, I'm, I guess I'm in. And the first test, I got a 40 on it. I really like, I, I don't think I cried that much in a long time. And I just was really at my wit's end. I was at a really hard time in my life. And I didn't know where else to turn. And I just knew that deep down inside that I really had to do this. I really had to find a way to figure this out. So with nowhere else to turn, I basically turned to my creator. And I was just like, please show me what to do because I just don't know what to do. And I can't have another failure. I can't let my parents be, you know, hurt anymore or... You know, I just, I wanted to show them what I was made of. And I knew I was made of more than that. So, from that point on, everything changed. Everything literally changed. I was basically just, I just started listening to myself, to this voice inside of my head just guiding me, and it showed me a different way. And this different way was so much more fun. It was so much easier. And it told me something. It told me that basically what I was doing was I was trying to use my conscious mind to study and to learn. But my conscious mind was so limited. So what this taught me was how to use my subconscious mind. And that was so much more fun. And your subconscious mind is so much more powerful than what you even realize. What I also learned, what I also learned was that knowing what to do was literally 5 to 10% of, of, of the process. Knowing what to do is the easiest thing. We all know what we need to do. Um, but the other part was you have, and what's more important is that you have to have a brain that's receptive and focused and a brain that can actually, you know, keep you going when you know what you need to do. So what I did was for you guys, because I get this question all the time, is I did something special for you. And I designed a program that is mainly video and audio based, although there are a few written documents, but they're small and they're short and they're easy to read. But what I did was I designed a program, which is basically, it's all it is is my advice. It's how I studied for, for anatomy and physiology. And what you will learn from this program is you will be amazed at how easily you will be able to just learn and absorb and retain thousands of words, like literally thousands of really complicated words very easily. You will also be amazed at how you will develop a photographic memory like that and be easily be able to retain it. So guys, listen, I... Um, design this for you. Like I said, it's video and audio based. And let me just talk about the price because I have something a little special for you. I have a suggested retail price, and um, but it is suggested. And why would I do that? Well, to be honest with you, I know what it's like. I know what it's like to eat at Wendy's because they have a dollar menu. I know what it's like to pump gas and stare at the price because I only had so much cash. I know what it's like to not have things because I couldn't afford it. So, I know you guys are students and this is probably one of the hardest times in your life. So, what I want you to do is just to ask yourself what you can really afford. And the price isn't that much. It's not like a $100 program. It's only $17.97. But I know that that could be a lot of money for you. So. What I want you to do is just go deep down inside and just ask yourself what is right. If you think what is right is $5, pay $5. If you think what is right is $10, pay $10. But guys, if you can only afford a cent, just pay one cent, but get the program because I believe it'll change your life. The other thing is, I don't know how long I'm going to have it available, but guys, get it now because maybe I only have it available for an hour. <laughs> maybe a week. I don't know, maybe forever. I just, I can't tell you that. When I feel like it's time to take it down, I'll take it down. So just don't hesitate. Pay what you can and get the program now. So guys, I love you and I can't wait to hear all of your successes because I really think that this program is going to change your life because anatomy and physiology 
can be, you know, the, the point where your academic career changes, just like mine. I love you guys, and I can't wait to see you soon. Bye!